Hey, today's adventure will take us to Mount Garfield. We'll be heading up the Garfield Trail, up to the Garfield Ridge Trail, which is 4.8 miles from here. Hi, babe. Let's go. So we've been on the trail about 10 minutes. It's an easy trail. Um, it's been relatively flat. It's easy to follow. We have we can hear the water onto our right, off to our right, but it is blazed in blue. So as we're walking along, we'll come across patches of mud and muck like this. It's all been avoidable so far. Nothing like five days ago when we did the hand clocks. Because, well, I'd be filming water all over the trail right now. So, there's some more muck. Moving on. More signs of trail erosion, all the roots coming through. First water crossing is bridged. Stranger's getting a drink. It's been running all over the place. All sorts of little critter smells out here this morning. So the trail dropped us down onto this part, which I believe is the old Jeep road that used to uh, supply the fire tower up there. So they say that it's a, it's a gentle walk all the way up. I mean, it's still five miles, and then, of course it's gonna be up, but um, like two tenths before you get to the summit, when you hit the Garfield Ridge Trail, you're going to have to scramble. So, but other than that, if I recall correctly, it's not that bad. So, I ah, guess we'll refresh our memories. And the mucky area. Three boulders to cross on. Not a problem. The trail is still wide. So. Get to walk side by side next to my lovely wife. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Come up to the next water crossing. Water coming in from everywhere over here. Well, not everywhere. Like the trail we're going, it's not coming down. But, kind of a cool area. Francis is enjoying herself. So eventually you're gonna come up to an intersection. As you can see, they have branches across it on this side and off to the right. Brandy's trying to take away the branches. Uh, I believe that's the snowmobile trail. You just continue to go straight with Cheryl is. Coming to the next water crossing, which will be followed by some up. And nothing drastic. Two. Going alone. Well, we finally encountered some steady incline. Not steep by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, last time we came out here, if you've seen that video, it's just pictures. It lasts about two minutes. That's because we had a different camera and we brought cheap batteries with us that didn't allow us to take any video whatsoever. So we've been looking forward to get back up here. So trail's leveled out a bit. We're, uh, we're in about an hour. Of course, I didn't turn the GPS on, so I can't tell you how far we are, but probably at least a couple miles due to the fact that it hasn't been all that steep. But the sun is uh, breaking through. All right, we're a little shy of an hour and a half. Probably like an hour, 15, hour, 20. Across a little uh, stream right here. With an incredibly large flat rock. So not much has really changed on the trail. Still, it's just a mild up. We can see the sky though. Yeah, we can see the sky. It is blue with some clouds. Trees are getting a little shorter. I'll bet. Ah. Right. <laughs> okay, we've come to the first zig of the zigzags. The switchbacks. Uh, we counted there's, what do you figure? There's six? About six. There's about the six. The last one's a little one. The last one's a little one. And then it's just a straight shot to the summit. So, here we go. There's the zig. And there's the zag. Moving on. So as we're working our way up the switchbacks, the trail is a little bit damp. I mean, some water on it, but these leaves are all wet. And the rocks are all damp. We're slipping a little, but nothing to be overly concerned with. So as we're working our way up the trail, there's a lot of fresh leaves on the ground. So, going up. <gasps> a lot of leaves fell off the trees. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at here. Early fall. So we're getting closer to the top. This is a very mossy area. And rocky. Now, we didn't know what the trails looked like because the last time we were here, there was snow. But they're not too bad. It's not been a hard hike. There's a little bit of up. Get your heart beating. But we're continuing to the top. As we get closer and closer to the trail junction, the trail has become all rocks and boulders. Still though, it's moderate up. 
So, all right, let's get to that trail junction. Made it to the trail junction with the Goffield Ridge Trail. We're going to continue up the way Miss Brandy's going for point two. Brandy. If you head down this way, you'll get to the Galehead Hut in 2.9 miles. So, last time we stood here, we were in eight to nine inches of snow. It looked a lot different than it does now. So, yeah. My wife still looked the same. Right. Okay, there you go. Go knock out the summit. So it starts out just as a bunch of jumbled rocks. Going on. Now we came up to this section. No, you don't go straight up. We'll be going around. Grand stay. Brandy. Brandy, sit. Okay, we're gonna be heading up this way. Past brands. Yeah. Like I said, last time this was all snow covered. It's a little bit easier of a climb. Ah, oh, then again, this isn't that bad. Okay, last time we were here, this was a solid ice waterfall. And Abby the Wonder Mutt, when she was doing her 48, jumped right up it. Took the little path. The summit is right there. So let's go knock out number 11 for Miss Brandy. So we saw this coming up. We were so afraid that it was going to be socked in like this. But as I pan, you see the beginning of the Franconia Ridge. So you got Lafayette, Lincoln, a little haystack over there, Liberty, Flume, down the middle here. This big one right in the middle. That would be Owl's Head. Last time we were out here, we had coined the area down there as the arena because we're surrounded by all the mountains, the whole Franconia Ridge, the Bonds, and you got the Twins. They all just completely surround this area. So, just some more of the clouds working their way in from the other side. We are so thankful that this was at least available to us. Last time we were up here, it was cold. Wind was blowing. Snow. But up here last time, that was the first time that we saw Owl's Head. So that was cool. All right. And all the way back around to where it's, all the fog is just rolling in. Okay, so I'm standing inside the foundation of the old fire tower. We find it kind of ironic that the fire tower, which is here to watch for fires, burnt down. In the 1950s it burnt. So all that's left now is the foundation of it. Last time we were up here, someone had put a rock in this corner over here. I said, in memory of mom. No, it's no longer there. I don't know what happened to it. It's the second one that we've seen in our adventures. It's more of the views. Well, Garfield was named after President Garfield. That's where it got its name from. There's probably not too much information on uh, this mountain. But just giving you another look before it's completely fogged in. We seriously, seriously locked out. Okay, let's see if I can get in on it. I believe you are looking at, oh, it's hard to hold it in. It's the Galehead Hut. Oh, losing it. The Galehead Hut. Didn't see that last time. Number 11. This is your 11th. Yay! <laughs> okay, just a tip, because we know two people who have gotten lost coming out of here. When you come off the summit, you come down the forest protected area sign, you want to take a right, unless you came up from 93. As you go that way, that's where you're going to end up, heading over towards Lafayette. So, just a tip. So we've completed Mount Garfield, Randy's number 11, and we're done for the day. So the end.